A, a woman faces charges in Greenville accused of breaking a controversial law. The police report says her crime was taking an abortion pill. 7 News' Alessandra Young explains. The alleged crime happened in October 2021. Greenville police say after taking a pill to end her pregnancy, the woman came to the hospital and gave birth to a stillborn baby girl. According to a police report, a woman is now facing charges for performing or soliciting abortion. Greenville police say the woman gave birth to a stillborn baby at 25 weeks gestation. I don't think that this has ever happened before. When contractions began, she went to St. Francis, and when the baby was stillborn, the hospital called the Greenville County Coroner's Office. The hospital it did nothing wrong. The hospital was in a situation where they have a duty, affirmative duty to report. The investigation continued until September 2022, and the woman in question was arrested just days ago. South Carolina is one of only three states to criminalize self-managed abortions. Greenville attorney John Reckenbile says the timing of this case is important. When the incident took place back in 2021, that was before the federal Supreme Court did away with Roe v. Wade. So it literally has flipped where the federal law used to have protection to the right to privacy for abortions. And now the Supreme Court of South Carolina is the one that has instituted the, the right to privacy as of January 25th of 2023. In February 2021, the fetal heartbeat bill was passed in South Carolina. No doctor in this state is going to jeopardize two years of imprisonment to perform any sort of abortion. So if an individual in October of 2021 is thinking about this, they don't have any option because of the fact that that fetal heartbeat bill which has now been deemed unconstitutional. Right now, Reckenbile says there are limitations to abortions in the state. In the second trimester, up to 24 weeks, it has to be done by a physician with consultation, basically like the life of the mother's at risk. According to Reckenbile, the state's case will hinge on two things, whether or not the pregnancy was viable and whether or not the Constitution protects this woman's right to make the choice to end her pregnancy. In Greenville, Alessandra Young, 7 News. Even if the state does pass a new law now, of course, that wouldn't apply to the woman's actions from back in 2021. The police department says she posted bail and was out the next day.